can't get enough of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, what I was going to tell you about the, the oh, cop. Forty. Forty. No? Yes. Oh, about the drum thing mm -hmm. is that because I don't hear the upper thing, mm -hmm. like, dun, 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 oh, but I hear the down thing. Right. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, right. So it gives me uh, a really nice. Uh, Hello? Oh, I can hear you. Yes, indeed. Hello? Rip. All right. Okay. I'm not sure, but. My... Brother said he was going to join, but I don't know. People are. <laughs> Should I? Yeah. Uh, sent a message out to a couple people, so we'll okay. see. Okay. Did they come on? And I, I forwarded your your uh, message uh -huh. to a couple people, so we'll see if they come see on. If they come on, that would be great. All right. We're going to begin. <laughs> All right. First off, if you do not want to be recorded, turn your video off. Second thing is, um, do I do the recording? Uh, uh, yeah, if you're on, if you could see yourself, then Daniel's recording, Dr. Huber's recording the session. So you can, you can turn off your video and you'll still see, you'll still see us. Arts in Long Beach, California. This is virtual Tai Chi. We're going to be covering several areas and we'll mention them as we go along. Okay, what we thought we'd do at the beginning of this particular session was to do the whole 24 Yang form and in later classes, later sessions, we'll break it down movement by movement, but today we'll start off with uh, the actual Tai Chi itself, and then we'll follow that with the exercises that you should have done in order to start doing the class. <laughs> so we're taking it backwards. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. So. Dr. J, how are you? I'm good. Cool. All right. So we start standing up straight. Our head is up, shoulders down, and relax. Drop your hands to your side. Your palms are facing in the back. You want to shift your weight to the right. Step out to the left. Raise your arms up, leading with the wrist. Putting your arms down, bending your knees. Shift your weight to the right. Open up the left toe. Reach over, grab the top of the ball, bottom of the ball imaginary ball and bring it in. Stepping out and back with your left. Left hand goes up, right hand goes down. Adjust the back leg. Shift back. Turning your left hand with the right hand, grab the ball. Step out with the right. Turn your waist. The right hand goes up, the left hand goes down. I feel like a shadow. Shift back. <laughs> Gather the ball again, bring in the left foot, step out to the left, left hand goes up, right hand goes down. This is called an empty step where you bring the right foot up and you put your weight on your right leg. You make a ball. This is white cream spreads its wings. So you're going to block with your right to the left, 
Flip your hand down. You run a block with your left to the right. Flip the hands around. Right hand is up, left hand is down. Step out with the left. Brush knee, twist down. And hit in the center. Shift back. Both arms are now on your left as you bring in the right foot. Step out with the right. Turning your waist. Brush knee, twist step. Shift back. Now, both hands are on the left. Step back again. Brush knee, twist step. Hitting in the center. Get these steps. Right leg comes up. Sit back on that right leg. And stronger loop and heel strong. Right hand goes back in a circle. Step back left. Brushing off. Step back right. Brushing off. Twist the front foot and toe. Step back left. Brushing off. Step back right. Brushing off. Reach over, grab that ball. Use the energy and bring it in. Bring it into that foot. Stepping out, pour it off. Grasp the first tail. Bring her down. Circle. Press. Clear. And push up. Imagine doing this with your with your eyes blindfolded. Grab the ball. Step out again. Pour it off. Grasp the bird's tail, bring her down. Circle, press, shift weight. Shift back and press up. Facing the front, front. Move your right foot so it faces front. Left shoulder back, the right shoulder back. Pull out, pull in. Step out with the left and press. The left hand goes down, it comes up in a circle. Four, wave hands. Clouds. Step out left. Bring the right. Step out left. Bring in the right. And then it's left shoulder back, right shoulder back. Pull out, pull in. Step over and pass. Empty step. High paddle force. Avoid the sweep. We're going to do breathing in, right heel kick, hit opponent's ears with both fists, open your hands immediately to turn and do left heel kick, free from angle, and then lazy, creep through the grass, golden rooster stand, grab the branch, and snake creep through the grass again. Hold the roosters there. Over to the left. Gray lady shuttle to the right. Shift back. Gray lady shuttles to the left. Empty step. Needle at the bottom of the sea. Band back. And come back into the video here. Turn. Parry. Step with your left. Punch. Clear under the arm and press. Very good. Shift back. Just to the left foot. Swing the right foot around. Come down. Gather your chi. Throw it over your body. Arms slope, float down. And feet together. Now that's the 24 yang form that we do from some. Now some other class, yes. Some other classes you may see when they start off. Instead of reaching over, they bring in the ball. Instead of reaching over and bringing in the ball, they start out and they immediately have the ball. So different teachers may teach a little bit different, but the form and the names are usually the same for 24 Tai Chi. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do a little warm up of what we would have done if we had followed the normal course of events and started off with the warm-up before we went to 24 Yang. Right. But what we decided to do was just simply give you an idea of what the whole thing looked like before we got into parsing the pieces. So at the beginning for us, 
we're starting off with, uh, I'll call it Curl the Snake. Okay. He'll Begin. face the front. Oh, he needs to move over. How about towards the center? Right here. More, more towards over. A little bit more. How's yeah. that? Okay. Cool. All right. Thank we you. need you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So head out. Bend your knees and push up. Head out. Bend We're your going knees. to do this push up. five times. One, two, three, four, five. As you come to a complete end, Rotate your hands down. Reach as far as you can. If you can only go as far as your knee, that's fine. If you can go as far as your toes, fine. If you can touch the ground, great. Right. But don't stretch yourself, and if anything hurts, stop immediately. So here we are. Just let grab it, hold it down for a minute. As you come up, pretend that you pick up 50 pound barbells, bend your knees. And pull up. Uh. Continue. I'm gonna adjust the mirror. Okay. okay, let's roll your head around from left to right, from right to left, to loosen up your neck the other way. We're gonna do this five times. Two, three. Four, five. Okay, keep your hands close to your thighs and rotate your, your shoulders backwards. One. If you can turn your head from side to side as you do this, fine. If you can't, just go straight ahead. Okay, going forward. Keep your hands rolling around your thighs like that. Two, three, four, five. Now, reach out with your right hand, with your palm up, take your left hand, and pull down as you stretch your arm. Gently. Just a bit. Three, four, five. Same thing with the left hand. Reach out with your left your palm up, take your right hand, pull down, and stretch. Shake, shake it out a little bit. Ah. Now bring your feet together or just slightly apart. Bring your hands behind your head. I'm sorry. Reach up. Reach up. Thank you. Reach up and rotate your hips in a kind of hula hoop fashion. If your arms get tired, stop. Go the other way. Uh, okay, now keep your arms up if you can, or if you want to rest for a minute. If your arms are tired, just shake it out. Bring your arms back up. Pull up as far as you can. And then pretend to tick tock like your little little doll rotating around. Like when you were a kid. <laughs> like when you were a kid. I never did this when I was a kid. But well, you're from Chicago. I can figure that out. <laughs> oh, shame on you, shame. I'm from Hackensack. Shame, shame on you. We were kids. Okay, let's stop it here. Now, rotate your arms around to. Three, four, the other way. Two, three, four, five. Now, we're going to do the windmill. The windmill, but if you can't touch your toes, I'm going to just touch my knees. He's going to touch his toes. Okay? Show him, show him how you do it. Okay, if you can go all the way down, you'll go and you touch your toe. You'll be alternating. So the right hand on the left toe, come up. 
the left or the right. But, as I said, for the demonstration, I'm just going to touch my knees, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a great exercise to show children how to alternate. Um, then they're used to touching the same leg with the same hand. And so it's it's good little exercise. Cross them. Okay, we finished that. Now rotate your hips from right to left. For those who love to do the mambo <laughs> or the cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Or to do the tango mm -hmm. or whatever it is you like to do when you twist your hips. This is good for you. One, two, three, four, five. The other way. One, two. If your hips get stuck, stop. <laughs> Rub it eyes. Okay. I'm just kidding. You bring your feet together. Now, if you have knee problems, don't do this exercise. But if you don't have knee problems, bring your feet, your knees together, and grab on the outside of your leg, outside of your knees, thumb on the top, and the hands wrapped around. Okay. Do a very soft rotation to the left, around, back, two. Sometimes you might hear something snap in place. I do. <laughs> I think it's my knee. Mm -hmm. But this is for you to have more range with your knees. And as we get older, that's kind of important. Okay. Good. All right. Now we're warmed up and we're ready to do what we would have done had we done what we just did. We've, uh, we've been wearing masks so long, and so we're going to do just four, one, one, four breathing exercises. Four breathing exercises. For those who can come into the riding horse stance, this slightly bent. Ah. Bring your hands up. Think about a billows opening up, and as you open up, breathe in. Here's what I'm going to do: open up my arms this way and bring it back this way, just simply that. Okay, take a deep breath as you open your arms. Hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Okay, let's stop for a minute. This is not Tai Chi boot camp, so you don't have to do something until it exhausts you. Uh, we're giving you two or three examples, and if you decide you want to do it four times rather than two times, good, you could build up to 10 times and it would expand your lung capacity over time. Okay, let's go back into the riding horse stance. This time, you're going to pull air in, breathe in, hold it, and as you breathe out, imagine you have a wall in front of you, maybe a wall of paper, and you want to push through the wall. I'll give you one demonstration, can I? Yes, please. Pull in, hold it, push out through the paper, and when you get to the paper, push through it. Okay. And you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, let's try it five times. Pull in, hold it, <coughs> pull in, hold it, <coughs> one more time, pull in, <coughs> let's relax for that a minute, we have one more to go. Sometimes if you uh, are doing some work at your desk or something that is mentally taxing, stand up and take a deep breath and do this and it might help you out.
And when either one of us are talking and they're not, we're not doing an exercise at the time, I want you to do hip rotations or practice your banner. But some type of exercise if we're just we're talking to you. Well, you're waiting for the elevator to come. Mm -hmm. Or you're waiting for the bus to come. Or you're just waiting. <laughs> just do something. Do something with your body. Okay, here we are in riding horse stats again. Uh, the monarch butterflies are migrating through this, this, this space, <laughs> and we have some really nice milkweed plants that they feel kind of intoxicated on because they keep buzzing around. This time, I'm going to ask you to lift up and push down. Breathe in. Breathe in. Pick up air, hold it, push down. Breathe in. And now we'll end it with just simply an old fashioned long opener. So now when you see those that you haven't seen in a while and you want to hug them, you take a deep breath. And don't hug them. <laughs> okay. Don't hug them. Okay. That they've, they've been well, uh, they're, they're very helpful, okay, our family. All right. I'm going to show you just a few um, of the Tai Chi beginning moves. And Odie's going to sit and he's going to do it if for... Dr. J, can you see me? So, Odie is going to do the Tai Chi to a certain point till Repulse Monkey. No, in fact, yeah, I'm going to do to Repulse Monkey. Or we'll have you do the other one too. Uh, to Grasp the Bird's Tail. Okay. So he's going to do it and watch him for his is, is example for people who are having balance issues or they're having um, physical disabilities where they can't get up and walk around, you still can do Tai Chi in the chair, okay? You should not let anything stop you from pushing yourself to do some exercise. It's 30 minutes each and every day. Stay fluid, drinking your water, and exercising at least 30 minutes every day. All right, so here I go. And uh, let's, hands are by the side. We're going to open up. Shift your weight right. This is the opening movement. Step out left. When your heel touches, your arms come up, leading with your wrists. A little shoulder roll, bend your knees as your arms come down. That's the opening move. You're going to shift your weight right. You want to open up your left toe. You're going to reach over, turning your waist, grabbing the top of the ball, the bottom of the ball, and bring it in. Now imagine it is a ball, so you don't want it too close to your chest. All right? We're going to step out with the left. You turn your waist as the left hand goes up, the right hand goes down. Shift your weight back. Turning, flipping the left hand, and grab the ball again. Stepping out, party while horse is made. Freeze. I'm going to move up so you can still see open. All right. Shift back, grab the ball. Step out one more time with the left. Party while horse is made. Adjust that back leg. Empty step, ball. White crane spreads its wings. Adjust the left leg to the side. Going to block to the left. Flip the right hand down. We're going to block to the right. Both hands flip again. The right palm is up. 
the left palm is down. Step out with the left. Left hand, arm goes across the left knee, and you hit it in the center for brush each for step. Shift back, adjusting both arm, both your arms are on your left side. Stepping out with the right, brush knee twist step, and head to the center. Shift back. Both arms are now again to the right. Step out, brush knee twist step, hitting in the center. Empty step from the loop. Pulse monkey. So right arm goes back, comes forward, step back left. Turning on your right toe, step back right, turning on your left toe, step back right, turning on your right, left, step back left, turning on your right toe, and step back right, turning on your left toe. Now I'm going to go here so you can see only again. We're going to step, reach over, grab the ball, bring it in. This is ward off and grasp the bird's tail. So we step out, ward off. The arm hand is about chest wise. Reach up, grab the ball, bird's tail, bring it down. Press and clear. And push up, roll to the right. Ball. Step out, ward off. Grasp the bird's tail. Bring it down. It's a weight shift. Shift forward. Shift back, lifting up the toe of the right foot. Push. Shift back. And we're going to face the front, but we're not going to do um, single whip. Single whip. All right. I think that's enough for now. So again, can I say this? Mm -hmm. Obviously, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm unable to do the footwork, but I am able to, uh, for those who can, move your body from side to side and take the movements down to as far as you can go. Right. Okay. And remember, if you're just sitting in a chair or couch, if you're having any issues, work your upper body. Eventually, you should get some help so that if you can, if it's just the fact that you've been lazy most of the, for two years with the pandemic, and you haven't been getting out and walking, there are exercises that you can do to improve your leg and your, your strength in your legs and be able to get up and maybe do some walking. Who knows? Maybe running eventually. All right? But again, um, with Odie, doing these moves, sitting still, you see that you can do Tai Chi, even if you can't walk around. And for those who have a small space, if you have a very small space, you can still do Tai Chi. Say, if I'm here and I only have this much space, you can do it in the round. You can start off for party while horse and thing. And what you would do is go in a circle. Go in a circle. So that you are keeping movements. And you'll learn these movements little by little. And as you learn the movements, after you've learned the movements, we'll say come December, uh, when I say I want you to do brush knee twist step, if you're sitting in a chair, you would do brush knee, twist step, or you would do it this way. Or if I tell you, show me white crane spreads its wings. White crane spreads its wings. Okay. So, um, you can go online, um, if you email me, I can send you the form that does the 24, with the names of the 24 Tai Chi. That's uh, zselina at yahoo.com. All right. We were going to do cane today, but I think we're covering quite a bit. 
wanted to mention the ball again. You each is up ball on the side to help you remember the elbow is lower than the wrist. The elbow is lower than the wrist. Right? So when you're doing the form, you want to distress that so that you don't do the ball, you don't put your arms too close to your body. That's important. And one other thing I wanted to point out is with your legs when, you, when you're moving forward. So when you step out, you want to adjust that back leg. So again, here I am stepping out. I adjust the back leg so my knees are going in the same direction. All right, shift back. Adjust the back leg. Kind of a lot. But I'd like right. to add some more to what we've been talking about uh, to show you some of the martial arts applications of the movements we're making. It's just not a matter of waving hands around and all that. Tai Chi is really a martial art, and if you were to do things in a very super fast way, you would see the martial art application. We're going to give you one demonstration of patting wild horses' mane and what this, what this offers as a possibility to defend yourself. Zola is going to, I'm going to punch her, because she's going to do party wild horses' mane. Party wild horses All right. I'm going to do this slowly with no malice to forethought. I hope not. As though we were doing Tai Chi. Right? Yes. yes. <laughs> he comes in. I grab his hand. And I go up under him. So I'm pushing and pulling at the same time. So this movement here is, I again, I'm coming. <laughs> Come. <laughs> I'm going to get you this time. Come on. <laughs> Give me your best stop. Grab the arm, step behind, turning the weight, and you throw the person off, off the camera. <laughs> All right. So it's this move. Parting the off horse's mane. Grabbing the fist, turning your waist, going up. The, the martial art application, we didn't start at the beginning. We could start at the beginning. This is the second movement. The very first movement can tell you what you could do if someone attacks you. I'm going to slowly make a, an aggressive move and she'll show you how to defend the beginning, okay? It's slow, bending your knees, bending your head bump, or kick, all of that. First, grab you on the okay? Grabs, pull him down, you can do a kick, head bump. So that's just with the opening move. Right. And you don't want, with Tai Chi, it stresses, you do not want to use muscle. You want to do your inner strength, uh, your inner chi, as they say, and that will develop with time as you learn to do the move softly. For that, we're going to do uh, some Tai Chi walking. Tai Chi walking. All right. So I'm toward going to. Toward the camera. Well, let's, let's do it toward the camera. Okay. And then we can only go to about here, I think. Okay. Just walk all the way, all the way to the back. Start from the very back. Okay. Hands on your waist. So you'll step out with your left. Heel to toe. Shift back, turning your left foot to the side, about 45 degrees. Come up, step out with the right, heel to toe, adjust the back leg. Shift back, turning to the right. Come up, step out again, adjusting the back leg, always. Don't push your knee any farther than your big toe. Right. The knee should never go over the big toe. And one more time. Now we're going to turn around and we're going to do it. Step backs to you. All right? 
So again, starting out with your left. Follow the needle. Left way down, shift back, turn to the left. Step out right, shift back, turn to the right. Step out left, shift back, turn left, shift out right, shift back directly, turn to the right. And one of the important things with this is when you're shifting back, you don't want to lift your foot and then shift back with your body. You want to make it one complete movement. All right. It'll help you with your balance. And we're going to go into walking meditation, which will help you chill out. OK, I, walking meditation simply means that you're going to walk and meditate. I would suggest that you hold your hands behind your back. But if you like them, balance beside you, that's okay too. I'm holding my hands behind my back. I'll first demonstrate it uh, in profile. You start off, okay, Tai Chi walking is turning the foot. Meditation is keeping the foot just as you're walking. Shift your weight to your right leg. Step forward with your left leg very slowly. Bring your heel down and then slowly lower your whole foot. As you lift your right leg in, up, inhale. Hold it briefly. Come down with your right heel. And as you put your foot down, exhale. It's simply inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. But we're going to do it very slowly and without thinking about anything other than how do you explain it? I explain it by saying you're thinking about being in the present, in this present space that you are at. You're not in the past. You're not in the future. All right? You're right here. So I found it very good when I was working and being bombarded with a lot of questions and several bosses trying to talk to me at the same time, that I would do walking meditation in my head, that I'm here, not in the future yet, can't do anything about the past. Can't really do anything about the future. But prepare for it while I'm in the present. In the moment. In the moment. In the moment. In the moment. I think I, I have an interesting thing. Why don't you start there and I'll walk towards you? Oh, that'd be good. Okay. I'm a little bit out of the frame, but I will come into the frame. Uh, we'll begin. I'm in the side here, right? I'm in the side. Okay, keep keep your lane open and clear. That means mentally as well as physically. physically. Start off by shifting your weight to your right foot. As you lift up your left foot, inhale. Very slowly, take a natural low step. As your foot goes down, exhale. You got the picture now. Inhale. Step forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. a little story to tell you. We were teaching Tai Chi at the uh, 
at the Y on 7th Avenue before they moved, 6th, 6th and Long Beach, right behind Denny's there. And we happened to have a lady with three children, two, two. Uh, one was a small boy who was autistic. And uh, in order to counter this competitive thing that happens in some people's heads when they start doing something, we had encouraged them to understand that whoever came in last would be the winner. Uh, the young boy who was autistic would sometimes be playing with some toys over there. He didn't seem to be paying us any attention. But one day when we started, there was six or seven of us, when we started doing the Tai Chi walk, he put his toys aside and he stood up and he did the most perfect Tai Chi walk I've ever seen. He meditation came in, walk. Meditation walk. Meditation. Meditation walk. He came in five steps behind everybody because he was really so focused on not being focused that he was able to do it without, I guess, without thinking about it. And his, his, uh, his form was beautiful, shifting his weight. He understood that sometimes you might get a little shaky. You shouldn't worry about that. The important thing is to come down and reestablish yourself and start off all over again. If you are walking and you do 10 steps, it means really literally that you're doing 10 starts, 10 middles, and 10 endings. So. Oh. We were going to do a little Tai Chi uh, Shaolin King today, but I think focusing on the Tai Chi for this moment in time. This moment in time. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. And so we'll begin a little of the Shaolin King next week. So if you have a cane, bring it out, dust it off, and we'll begin. Dust it off. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but you probably dust have your cane off. Dust your off, okay? <laughs> and get ready for that too. Any questions? Well, this particular Zoom Tai Chi, virtual Tai Chi, will be on YouTube. So you can check it out again. And um, I hope that you'll join us again next Sunday at 2 and that you'll practice, if nothing more than your walking meditation and your Tai Chi walking. Walking meditation and Tai Chi walking. So you really want to do that during the week, all right? You might be at a park or with some friends and everybody can do either the Tai Chi walking or the walking meditation. And remember, the person who comes in last is the winner. So the person who's able to flow gently and walking through the park or wherever is the winner. We, we had this happen at one point up at Signal Hill when we were doing the class. And uh, believe me, it's quite a sight to see two people, two, uh, two, uh, two, about 25 people doing walking meditation. Yes. We stopped traffic in the park. People were trying to see how, <laughs> what, what are they doing? I guess they thought we would become zombies or something. But anyway, it was a good moment. And eventually also with the Tai Chi, as you become very stable, you're balanced, and you make sure that you're in a safe space, you can close your eyes and do it. And finally, you can sit down and in your mind, imagine you're doing Tai Chi 24. I had a young lady who, we would do this exercise, we would first do the physical Tai Chi for five minutes, then everyone would take time to sit down, close their eyes, and imagine in their head doing Tai Chi. And this one lady fascinated me because she said she had been doing it from her waist up. She had been using her arms, and she didn't think about her foot movements. But in her mind, when she thought about doing it, she stumbled mm -hmm. in her head. Not physically, but in her head, because she hadn't really thought about doing combining, because it is usually hand, waist, foot movements. All right? So again, look forward to seeing you. Maybe have a
blessed week. Enjoy yourself. Exercise. Drink plenty of fluids. Do not stress. Because there's not enough time for happiness, so there's no time for sadness. <coughs> <laughs> Dr. J, thank you. Thank you. All right. You are, you're a great spatial designator. <laughs> get, get, get over there. Get over there. All right. Well, we shall see you maybe next Sunday. Maybe your friends will join in. Yeah. And uh, I'll, 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 I'll be talking to you. All right. Take and, care. Uh, yeah, the, the sound and yeah, the all right, we'll do. Uh, Can you hear Odie good enough? Yeah, it's still a little bit muffled. You know, the sound will be a little clearer. Yeah, but it's just. His is what he wants to Okay. Appreciate it. All right. Sure. Enjoy. Yeah. You drew. I'll, 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 I'll get a point because I said it felt good today. Fantastic. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm ready to hey, hey. <laughs> See you okay. next Sunday. Enjoy your week. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ciao. Okay, y'all take care. All right. We'll do. We'll do. Okay. Okay. Until the next best thing, of course. Huh. Until the next best thing. <laughs> Bye. 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 I think your sound comes. It's at its best when you can almost hear like a microphone know. effect, you know? Okay. Yeah, I think you are. You know, I that's, that's the best when it becomes almost a, a, a microphone. Microphone type. Yeah. yeah. So it's okay. unavoidable. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> to this one. Thank <laughs> you.